I'm Lauren of All Trades, and today I'm making Norwegian Cruise Line cocktails. Welcome to a special episode of Lauren of All Trades. Today we are celebrating my 200th video, and by the way, thank you for that. Without people watching my videos and liking and commenting, I wouldn't have the motivation to keep putting out videos, so thank you. You have actually helped more than you realize. If you haven't seen it already, for my 100th video, we made Royal Caribbean's apple tartlets that you find in their main dining room. So um, yeah, go ahead and watch that video too. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm making husband's favorite cocktail from Norwegian ships. That drink is the Matador. It is found at the Maltings Bar. So you can try it if you're on any of Norwegian's older ships that has Maltings. We saw it when we were on the Breakaway, the Gem, and the Pearl. I've got the recipe right here on my little device. And it is made with Bullet Bourbon. You don't have to use that exact brand, but we're gonna try to match up what Norwegian does so that hopefully it tastes the same. It'd be hard to tell if we didn't use the same products, right? Okay, so one and a half ounces. half an ounce of lemon juice. Now next is elderflower syrup. I did find on Amazon, there are a few different products that you can buy on there. They're all pretty expensive. I will link in the description some of those options. I also just Google searched for how to buy it from like any website and all of them had shipping charges that brought them to the same price or higher than the options on Amazon. However, if you live near an Ikea, or if you travel to a city ever, um, like maybe you have friends or family that have an Ikea, they have this product right here. We were in Pittsburgh, we went to the Ikea to see if there was anything cool we wanted to buy, found this. It is elderflower drink concentrate. So they have an elderflower juice that you can also buy in juice boxes. And this is the concentrate that has instructions on the back for how to make it into the juice but I'm just gonna use it as the syrup. Uh, I'm guessing that because it's a concentrate, it's going to be a little bit thicker than the stuff that Norwegian uses. So I am going to use a slightly smaller amount. So it calls for 0.5 ounces. I'm gonna do just a little bit less. You'd wanna use that half ounce if you're using one of the other syrups. Um, oh, but what? <laughs> why I'm talking about this so much, it was only $6. You can only buy it in store, but it was only $6, so that is a better price no matter how you're buying your elderflower syrup. Um, you just have to go to an Ikea. So we're doing a little less than a half ounce of this. Give it a little stir because I'm guessing that syrup's a little thick. And that's actually why I'm doing my ice now instead of first. And then we're doing a couple pieces of candied ginger, which we did struggle and make it ourselves. We followed Elton Brown's recipe and instructions for how to do it. Um, it was not the easiest thing to make. I'm sure you can also get that on Amazon and I'll even look up, um, I'll find something that I think would work really well. I'll put that link in the description as well for you. Next is orange bitters. The recipe I found calls for blood orange bitters. I don't know about that. Um, you should be able to get this in any liquor store, probably also grocery stores online. You have a lot of options for that. If you're not picky, you can just use regular bitters, I'm sure. But we're trying to make this as accurate as possible. And then finally, ginger ale. We're doing diet because that's what I keep in my house just a splash. And husband likes it a little heavier on the liquor, so we're just gonna do another little splash. All right, now, that doesn't seem fair if only husband gets his favorite drink. So I'm gonna make my favorite drink as well, it is the French raspberry martini found at Shakers. So that is, it's a vodka martini, not gin. And um, I wanted husband to get me Seagram's vodka 
from our liquor store. <laughs> then he, they didn't have it. He found this. It says eco-friendly, superior American vodka, six times distilled, six times filtered. So because I like the environment and recycling, it's got three recycling logos on it. Um, he thought that he should get it for me and um, yeah. So <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay, um, I'm a little worried about pouring it. Ooh, and I need ice. We're doing two ounces of this. Nope, that doesn't flip over the other way. I might need to put some of this in a smaller bottle. It's not spilling that much, just a few little bits. One ounce of Chambord, which is a raspberry liqueur. Look at this cute little bottle. This is like the tiny one. Uh, this is actually kind of pricey. Um, I already had this because I had to buy this cute tiny bottle, but you can also get raspberry schnapps instead. It might not be exactly the same, but it'll be close. Um, it's called like Razzmatazz. Um, same brand that makes peach schnapps. And we're doing one ounce. And then one ounce of pineapple juice. This is how I shake cocktails. my French raspberry and then the matador would not be complete without an orange garnish. Before we have husband come in to try his matador I have a couple other things to mention. One is that you can absolutely replace the expensive bullet bourbon with any bourbon. Seagram 7 is not bourbon it is whiskey. Um, all bourbons are whiskeys not all whiskeys are bourbons. Um, that it's also very affordable, tastes pretty good, and cheap. So I like Seagram 7 for my whiskey drinks personally. Husband is a little bit fancier. Um, so we're gonna have him try both and see if he can figure out which one is which, uh, see if he can tell the difference. Um, also, I really don't care for the elderflower syrup, so I tried this and I replaced the elderflower with some cranberry juice, and that was really delicious. And the third thing is, and I'm going to make this off screen. <laughs> this is barley tea for a mocktail. If you replace whiskey with barley tea, you get like a nice mocktail out of it. So I'm going to try that with the same cocktail, barley tea. Um, I found on Amazon, Celestial Seasons makes a tea called Roast Aroma. That's like the name of their tea product, um, but it is a barley tea, um, which I actually really like on its own, but um, I'm going to try it in a cocktail. When we come back, husband's going to try all the different versions of his cocktail, and I'll try my cocktail. actually in the room so we're just gonna like shell game this a little bit I'm gonna have to remember which one is which okay all right husband come on in so while you're trying yours I'm gonna enjoy my French raspberry get a little swirl <laughs> Okay, not bad. Um, that might be the mocktail one. <laughs> By the way, this is very good. Highly recommend it. Okay, it's definitely got whiskey. That's number two. <laughs> now on to number three. That 
one also definitely has whiskey. I think number three is my favorite. So let me taste number two again. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> They're, right. they're clearly different. Yeah. I can't put my finger on which one I like better, though. So, case in point, the expensive bourbon is not necessarily a better cocktail than the cheap Seagram 7. Um, all right, so I think I know which one it is. I'll put it on screen, um, especially if I get it wrong. But um, what did you think of the mocktail? Like, obviously it doesn't, it's yeah. not whiskey, but... What? It's not whiskey, but it is like a pretty tasty, refreshing drink. I wanna try it. Yeah, you should try it. Yeah, I don't like the elderflower, but I, I don't hate it. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, the barley tea has like a multi flavor that mirrors that same flavor in, in whiskeys, and that's why it makes for a nice replacement in a mocktail. Now, technically, this is not purely non-alcoholic because the bitters has just the itziest bit of liquor in it. It is effectively non-alcoholic. You could also just leave out the bitters. All right, I believe this is the bullet and this is the Seagram 7. So for you, it was a wash. I, they're clearly different. Yeah, they visibly are different because the colors of the whiskeys are different. This one almost tastes... Actually, I am sure that that's Bullet because I didn't mess up the orange on that one and I did mess it up on that one. I'm remembering. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so good. Now I get... That means I get to spend less money on whiskey. Um, but overall, is this the, the drink that you remember? Loving... That you love yeah. and remember? Yeah. It's right. like a pretty... Pretty dead on accurate yeah. rendition of the... The Matador on NCL. Yeah. And because we're going on Prima, we won't be able to compare it until we go probably on the Jewel to Alaska in two years. <laughs> um, then maybe we'll do the taste test again right before we go, but we probably won't show it to you. That's it for me and our Matador and French Raspberry cocktails. Thank you for liking, subscribing, commenting. That keeps me going and it helps me out a lot. Also share, that helps even more. Let me know what your favorite Norwegian cocktails are in the comments um, and we'll see you soon. terrible and boring.